Good morning. My name is Elena Kingetti. I am the proud owner and CEO of EK Management and Associates located right here in Raytown, Missouri. We are a suburb of Kansas City, Missouri, right outside of Kansas City, Missouri. Anyway, I am so excited. I'm so excited this morning. I'm excited, number one, um, because of the subscriber list. I thank you if you're a subscriber to this channel. I just want to say thank you. Um, um, I thank you to the people that view and um, the overwhelming compliments that I get by email. I want to say thank you. Um, I'm genuinely like thankful for everything. Anyway, <clears throat> this morning I want to talk about outside the box. Outside the box. Today is June 6, 2017. Can you like believe it that we're like almost halfway through the year or halfway through the year? Um, but anyway, I want to talk about outside the box. Um, when you think of outside the box, what do you think about? I'm going to pause, let you think for a minute. When you think of outside the box, what do you think about? So, out, when I think about outside the box, I think about when things don't work one way, I figure out another way. When things don't work one way, I figure out another way. I always get the question, you know, how did you get started in this industry? And I've done a video on that. Um, and, you know, I get people that ask me questions all the time. How did I learn this? How did I learn that? And the reason why I learned so much is not because I'm like this super smart, geeky person, but I learned so much because when things weren't working in one avenue, I went to another avenue. Um, I am an outside the box thinking type of person. Like, I don't like to be in a box. My um, personality, I'm a free spirit, you know, um, which is one reason why I chose entrepreneurship as a venture um, because I know, like, I know me better than anyone else. And I get bored easily. You know, I, I need to I need to have things to do, you know. Um, Money-wise, it's something that excites me about not knowing how much money I'm going to make. I don't know if that's crazy or what. It can be crazy because it's scary at the same time, you know. I'm like, okay, is this going to come in? Is that going to come in, you know. But it's something exciting about not getting the same paycheck every every two weeks you know there's something exciting about you know my paycheck's not saying the same thing or I'm not having to pull in some overtime to get this it's just exciting because I'm like okay you know if I can figure this out and I can figure that out then I can probably make this or I can do this or I can do that um so my point this morning is not to talk about Elena can get the but my point is to put that into you, to pour that into you, to think outside the box. You know, if you're thinking about getting in trucking, um, if you're already in trucking, if you're a dispatcher, if you're a broker, if you're an owner operator, if you have a fleet of trucks, um, there comes times when things can get slow, you know, things get difficult. I always talk about that. Um, it's in those times that you would be so surprised that you birth like the greatest things because you're up against the wall and you don't have anything else to do, any other way to go. And so when you don't have any other way to go, you have to break. You got to break out the wall some kind of way. You got to break out the box. If you look to the left and you look to the right, you look up and you look down and all you see is that box. Well, honey, you need to figure out how to box out that box and get out that box and um, run out that box and figure out how to create your new box. How do I create a new box? You know, um, when brokering season slowed down and, you know, the money wasn't like it is in the heavier seasons. Um, I was always thinking outside the box. Okay, what industry is moving? Okay, um, okay, let me hit pumpkins. I know that pumpkins start moving August, September, even though um, we're in November or pumpkin season is over. Let me set myself up for next year, you know? Let me try to meet as many pumpkin people as I can meet. Let me join some pumpkin associations so that I can start learning about these pumpkins and meeting people. You will be surprised at who you meet that will connect you with with this person connect you with that person um, because people really have a genuine heart to help people you know um, so I'm saying you think out the box you know there were times like I said when brokering would get slow 
And one of my drivers called me one time. He needed a load. And I was like, I think I can figure out how to dispatch. And um, I did get a course. You know, I um, bought some paperwork, bought some stuff, and I figured it out. I went to speak to an attorney and figure out what's my legal obligations, what are some things that I need to do. You know, I made sure I had everything down legally, made sure that um, I knew exactly what to do. And I started, you know, dispatching and I really loved it and working on the truck side of things. So my point is, whether you're thinking about getting in trucking or not, um, think outside the box. Like I know some people, you know, they're on YouTube watching different videos because you're frustrated at your job. Your boss has made you mad. You're trying to figure out what else can you do in your life and this and that. And maybe just maybe it's not meant for you to, you know, venture out and be an entrepreneur. It's a hard life, but maybe it's meant for you to think outside the box of other things that you could do. Or maybe it's meant for you to be an entrepreneur. I don't know. But what I do know is when push comes to shove and shove isn't pushing and you're stuck it's time for you to get out that box and get into a new box create your box you can make your box a circle who said that it even has to be a box it can be an octagon like literally you can do whatever you want to do you know kids can't stop you husbands can't stop you wives can't stop you nothing can stop you like you can't what stops us is our mind and we stop ourselves and we allow other people to stop our dreams don't allow other people to stop your dream if you got a dream and it's in you and spiritually you feel connected with that dream because I'm so like into the spiritual, you know, making sure that it's connected spiritually and you're gifted in that area. Why not? I trained, um, a dispatcher. She actually, I didn't train her. She signed up for my coaching sessions because I do coaching sessions. She went through another um, program for training, but she signed up for my coaching. Anyway, I was so amazed because she's former military. And as I was doing her training, um, we figured out that she's going to be niche market in government, you know, and I told her how to get in with the government, get government contracts. Um, I did a business plan for her. We um, thought out, you know, ways to market to government shippers and um, carriers, you know, because drivers are always looking for government loads. Government pays good money. And she has the inside into government right now, you know. And I'm like, oh, honey, that is so thinking outside the box, you know. Um, I dabbled in government and I loved it, you know. Um, and to build your company around that is awesome. That's thinking outside the box. That's a competitive edge. That's breaking out creating an octagon when everybody octagon <laughs> an octagon when everybody else is in a square anyway um that is my rant for today again my name is elena kingetti um we at ek management and associates we are a trucking consultant firm we do everything um, we do dispatching. Um, I train dispatchers. I train freight brokers. Uh, we open up brokerage companies for people. We open up dispatching companies for people. Um, we open up trucking companies. If you want to get a truck, we take you from A to Z, you know, um, getting your LLC or incorporation built all the way to finding your truck, getting you in contact with the lenders, showing you how to dispatch, how to, what lanes to do, what lanes to pull, what rates, all those type of things. Um, and we're about to actually start our CDL school um, here in the next few weeks, couple weeks. Um, so anyway, we have a lot going on. If you have any questions or anything, definitely let us know. Info, I-N-F-O at theekm.com info info at theekm.com our telephone number here is 816-381-7983 816-381-7983 um, my assistant her name is Ashley and she's awesome if you call that number um, chances are I won't be available but you can talk to Ashley and she can put you in contact with me get the schedule together whatever needs to be done I have another assistant by the name of Rachelle so if you call that number you can talk to Rachelle as well and um, they can both give you some information um, and I do 15 minute free consultation um, so you know all your little questions get them in 15 minutes <laughs> anyway you guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you later bye